guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kay. And this week we're going to continue our discussion from last week um, about resume tips that will get you the hospital job. I want to give a shout out to Fabiola L who requested this video. Um, she commented and said, thank you so, so, so much for this video. I wanted to see if I can, if you can make a video more in depth about the application process. I volunteered at my local hospital for a year while I was getting my CNA license, but now that I can work there, I don't get any callbacks or an offer for an interview. It's been six months of applying and nada. I am trying to continue to be positive, but it's frustrating because I know that I will give the best patient care and this experience will make me a better nurse. IDK, if there's any way you can look at my resume and tips, on making a good resume oh uh, my gosh I know how annoying that is when you know you know the will that you have and you know that you can do a great job at something and you're not getting the opportunity to but I think my biggest um, advice is to just continue to apply and um, definitely try and like reach out to the nursing managers if you can um, and like send them an email or even like go to the hospital and you know try and see if you can talk to someone like sometimes you really do have to go out the way to get the things that you want um when i was getting my um when i got my emt license i actually got um dressed up i wore my suit and i went to the emt job that i wanted you know i had an offer for um a job at a place that i didn't want and I'm like, you know what, what do I have to lose? So I decided to get dressed up, you know, I had my um, suit on, you know, professional outfit. And I went to the EMT job that I wanted. And I asked to speak to the, the hiring manager. And they were very impressed with that. So, you know, I ended up getting the job, my dream EMT job, just by doing that. So sometimes, you know, you have to go outside the box. And I'm not saying be annoying and hound people. <laughs> but sometimes you, you got to think of creative ways to get the things that you want in life. Okay, so um, just keep applying. I mean, it took me months and months and months to get into the hospital and I applied like on a weekly basis. So, you know, just don't give up. All right, guys. So for today's video, I'm going to show you multiple examples of ratchet looking resume. And ratchet just means that it's really bad. And this is just not a resume you need in your life. Okay. And I'm going to show you an example towards the end of a winning resume. Okay, so um, hopefully this video is helpful and I'm trying this whole screen recording thing to see how it works out and if, you know decide if I want to do that in the future or not. Um, but if you can't see it that well, I'm going to post some links below of like each of the examples so you can go take a look. You know, maybe you can have it pulled up on your computer um, and then watch the video to like follow along. Okay guys, so I'm going to give you a few examples of a ratchet looking resume. This one I would probably give a D plus um, because it's, it's not terrible, but this more looks like a resume that you would use for high school. So I'm going to um, actually point out a few things that's wrong with it. Right here, this um, stuff being in the center, um, that, that's okay, but I will make this smaller. And I would also include my home address. Okay, so you want all your information here. Your name, um, of course, should be the biggest font because it's about you. Um, you put your name, your address, your phone number, and your email. And you don't necessarily have to put your um, phone number, address, or email in bold. Um, but your name should definitely be in bold. Okay, going down to this area. For the summary, this just does not sound good at all. Um, it, you don't have to put a summary, but if you're going to put one, make it sound good. Remember, we got to make things sound better than it was. It doesn't matter what your job was. You could be the person that cleaned the floor, uh, took the trash out. It doesn't matter. You just want it to sound good. Um, right here, it's saying I decided to change my career. Okay. Um, <laughs> and now um, a 
certified nurse's aid. Okay. Um, nothing here sounds good. You know, I would just not put anything at all if I'm going to make it sound like that. Um, just spice it up a little bit. Okay, so um, right here, um, they put the place that they worked, and here they put the place that they worked and the city and state that they worked. But here they didn't put the city and the state, they just put the actual place that they worked. So this resume is definitely not cohesive. Over here, they decided to put the place that they worked in the center and the city and the state. But over here, they put it towards the left. So I would say the main thing with this resume is that it's not cohesive. And I would actually put um, bullet points. So here, describing the work experience, I would put bullet points. I wouldn't put it in this little clumped up, um, clumped up mumbo jumbo <laughs> looking uh, paragraph, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this resume, like I said, will get a D plus and it's for someone that's in high school, but definitely not a professional resume. And this person did not use a template. I also want to point out that um, with this resume, um, this person put references. You do not need to put references on your resume because depending on if you get hired or not, or, you know, they want to pursue you for the position, they'll ask you for res references. So you do not need to put references on here. And um, also, I couldn't even tell that this was the education section because they put the education in a smaller font than the actual um, place they went to school. So I would put the education um, category in a bigger font so I can clear, clearly tell that this is the education um, category. And I would also put, um, of course, bullet points, but then I would also include the dates where I went to school on here. So the dates in the city and the state. So I want to go over um, just a few things that's wrong with this resume. Um, first of all, everything is like the same font. I can't clearly see that, okay, this is education, this is experience. You want the person that's looking at your resume to clearly see the different categories. And when everything is in the same font, you can't clearly see the categories. So I will make the categories a bigger font than um, the actual descriptions. Also, looking at this resume, you see that everything is centered. Everything is like in the middle. Um, the name being in the middle is okay. So this information being in the middle is fine, but everything else should not be in the center. And also, um, the bullet points aren't aligned properly. So there one's like here, then there's another one here there's one here. So you want to make sure everything looks neat and aligned properly. Um, so this resume is definitely one that I would give an F. Okay, so looking at this one, everything is italicized. So the names italicized, the, um, the categories are italicized, and it's just, to me, it just looks sloppy. Um, it's not terrible. I would give this one maybe a C plus, um, but don't make everything just um, italicized. And also um, with the indentation, I would move the, the bullet points, I would move it to the right a little bit, just so everything's just not all clumped up um, in the same area. All right, so this one, it just has way too much going on, okay? Like I told you guys that we're professional is boring. You don't want to make everything um, just like, you don't want, want to make everything stand out. So this shouldn't be in red, and then this 
is in blue and this is in black. It's just too much going on. Um, so you want to make it one color. You don't want to make it red. Okay, um, red is like it's screaming at you and it's just too bold. You want to make everything like, I, I will just go with a black color, make everything black. Um, and uh, what else? And also looking at this, I would say I would make um, the font a little bit bigger for these. Like you want them to be able to read it and not have to use a magnifying glass. So um, these are examples of bad resumes. Hopefully these tips are helpful um, and remember that a bad resume can really deter you from getting your job. You know, it seems like it's not that serious, but you want to make sure that you're um, being professional, you know, how you dress and, you know, your resume, just how you present yourself as a package. Okay, so um, hopefully these tips help and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Every single day.